The former head of the Ontario Provincial Police wants, the, uh, wants to join another team in blue. Julian Fantino has announced he'll be a candidate for the Conservatives in an upcoming federal by-election in the Ontario riding of Vaughan. Now, the seat was vacated in August by longtime Liberal MP Maurizio Bevilacqua, who quit to run for mayor of Vaughan. While Fantino undoubtedly will have substantial support in his hometown, many residents in another southern Ontario town are anything but supportive of Fantino's political aspirations. That town, of course, is Caledonia, where many residents hold Julian Fantino responsible for what they consider is a policy of two-tier justice. And joining us in studio are two Caledonia residents, Merlin Kinraid and Gary McHale. Uh, Gary, you were getting some reports from within the Conservative ranks that, that indicated the party was backing away from Fantino. What happened there? Well, we were getting, because uh, there is a lot of people within the Conservative Party who uh, don't feel that Fantino uh, uh, is uh, as law and order as uh, his image is uh, presented. And especially with uh, Caledonia, what's happened over the last couple of years, there's a, a book coming out in just in a, in a couple of weeks uh, from Christy Blasford mm -hmm. that's going to reveal just how bad uh, the OPP uh, managed the situation in Caledonia. Oh, but Gary, you, you, you didn't answer my question Sorry. about the, what, what's going on within the Conservative ranks here. Are, you know, is, you got some misinformation. Obviously, they approved uh, um, Fantino as a, as a candidate in this by-election. Well, I think what happened is you have uh, Harper and some of the senior people who are so desperate of trying to get more votes in the Toronto area that uh, a place like Haldeman County is completely forgotten about. Uh, uh, maybe if Fantino had chosen to run in Haldeman County, then uh, we could see whether or not the public really does support uh, him as law and order. But as, as far as the party, the party, all parties are concerned about Toronto. They're never concerned about uh, country ridings, and this is just further proof of that. And Merlin, is it is it fair to pin Julian Fantino with a policy which ultimately must have been directed by Queen's Park? I would say uh, with a, a resounding yes to that. Uh, uh, Julian Fantino, uh, of course, is, uh, is standing on Harper's uh, situation of, of law and order uh, party. And uh, uh, Julian Fantino was engaged in... Uh, uh, nothing of that uh, extent, uh, law and order, was non-existent under his watch. And I, I want, uh, uh, Gary, I want you to expand a little bit on, on the book you referenced. Christy Blatchford, of course, is releasing her new book. What does it talk about in terms of Fantino's role? Well, it's uh, it really, uh, what's amazing about that, uh, his role in Caledonia, is you, you finally have some OPP officers who uh, who tell the truth of what took place behind the scenes. Uh, Christy Blasford uh, names certain officers who are disciplined because they spoke out. And probably the most uh, surprising part from, from my point of view is that the uh, Carl Walsh, who is the president of the OPPA, is probably the, the strongest critic in the book of, of, of the OPP and of uh, Commissioner Fantino. And maybe the PC party should have waited to read what officers who were serving in Caledonia have to say about the leadership of the OPP. And what did they say? Uh, that they were given direct orders not to enforce the law. They were given direct orders not to enter D.C. Uh, regardless of the situation unless it was an actual kidnapping of a child. Uh, they were given direct orders uh, uh, not to uh, arrest natives at the scene. Uh, matter of fact, Inspector Babbitt testified in court, it's recorded in the book, that he wanted to start arresting the natives uh, after the uh, events on June 9th. And uh, he was quickly transferred to Toronto as part of his discipline. Hmm. Uh, and that uh, the orders came down that you would not enforce the law. At that moment of time, the OPP actually developed a policy, a strategy by which uh, they would silence the, the citizens of Caledonia. That started on June 9th of 2006, and from that point forward, the OPP's policy was to ensure that the residents did not have a voice. Merlin, if these accusations are accurate in, in Christy Blatchford's book, and as, as Gary mentioned, he's, he's got an early copy of it, but it's certainly going to be talked about in the next few weeks once it becomes available to the general public, but is it, do you think that his critics will use the Caledonia situation to, to, to harm his campaign? Well, if they don't, uh, they're asleep at the switch. I think uh, um, like all across Ontario, he's uh, failed the people in different uh, communities, uh, Deseronto, uh, Charbot Lake, uh, the reserve that the, his uh, boys got run off of, uh, Cuga, Dunville, Hagersville, Caledonia. 
he's failed us all by uh, standing by while criminals uh, uh, ter terrorized us and uh, made life absolutely miserable for us. So they've got some uh, some uh, political hay there. They they can bail, and if they don't do that, why uh, uh, they're not uh, up to the job. Gary, you've gotten uh, a lot of support uh, over the years uh, as an activist in favor of uh, the rights of the people from Caledonia, etc. Will you actively seek to to scuttle Fantino's bid to become an MP? Uh, yeah, we have actually already created a website called uh, Conservatives Against Fantino. Uh, .ca. We've uh, we've already set up blogs. We've actually, within the last five days, gotten several conservative blogs to post uh, negative views of uh, Fantino as a as a conservative. Uh, PC is it's reason why we thought that the party would take a second look when you had conservative uh, blogs across this country coming out against Fantino as a, as the next candidate. Um, if uh, you know if he runs, he will be running. Uh, I have no problem showing up at some of his uh, public speaking engagements and, and remind the public about uh, what he's done in in Caledonia. Even though he's been approved as a as a candidate by the Conservative Party, do you still believe from your sources that there's uh, a lot of um, upset conservatives, maybe, or concerned conservatives, that uh, that Fantino has been um, uh, has been nominated. Oh, absolutely, and probably uh, within Haldeman County will probably be the uh, biggest backlash. There's going to be lots of conservatives who are going to question how Diane Finley and her husband, who uh, has a has a lot of pull within the party, how they allowed this to take place. Uh, you know, Fantino's appointment uh, as a as a candidate really is a slap in the face of everybody in Haldeman County. It really says to everybody that uh, we don't care what your views are, we want to win a seat near, Hamil uh, near, near Toronto. And uh, who cares about what the people in Haldeman County say? All right. Uh, Gary McHale and Merlin Kinraid, thank you so much for joining us today. Uh, we appreciate your time, gentlemen. Thank you. Thank you.